Empire City certainly has a lot of character. The DNA of superheroes takes place in major metropolitan cities, and so we knew all along we were gonna do our version of Gotham, Empire City. Real cities are dirty, they're grimy, they've got clutter, they've got garbage in every corner. We started talking about the city breathing, the city groaning, the buildings crumbling off in the distance as music. Like, what would that sound like? Since the blast, the place has become this sort of wonderland of destruction where a lot of masonry got thrown, higgly-piggly in the blast. Cars and buses smashed into the sides of buildings. It feels like this hurricane is torn through. It's bleeding. The city itself is broken. It's foul. We wanted the city to feel like there was despair around. So if you see people walking down the street, they don't look very happy because they aren't. And it really gives the city a feeling of life. The city's actually reactive to who you are in the world. If you choose to be a nice guy and win the love of the people, I know you can heal him. you'll actually see the city get cleaner and kind of repair itself a little bit. And that's pretty crazy. We wanted to make the thing have a character and sort of look back at you for what you did, you know, to respond, and not just be this inert mass. The architecture is clearly influenced by two big things. The first was a desire to have it feel like a grounded, um, largely Western city. That's where superhero stories exist. At the same time, we looked at, at cities, international cities that had really great opportunities for climbing and jungle gymming across. It's kind of a mishmash, very intentionally, of, of things to try and show age of a city and, and like it's been lived in. Not only are they controlling the character, but they're controlling a character in a world where they can do anything they want to. They can literally wander the city aimlessly for hours if they choose, and the music needs to account for all of that. It's been really important for us to approach the music like sound design to really capture the spirit, the voice of Empire City. Even though we're in a big urban environment, we want the percussion and the instrumentation to be very tribal, very savage. One of the first things in this game that I was also approached about, which I've never seen in any other game, but I've never had to do either, was to score things in two different ways, depending on where you are in the, in the game or how you're doing. You can choose to be a hero or an anti-hero, and the music needs to echo that. That was fantastic, Mark. There's an edgy, punchy, kind of dark, and very thoughtful component uh, to the music. The ambient music is meant to be bleeding out of this broken city, the city that's sort of been bombed out and, and uh, is hurting. And so much of the music is really meant to meld with the sound design and almost become indistinguishable from it. Initially, when we were hearing that the city was kind of alive, uh, and how we do that musically and sound design to blend those two worlds. Um, uh, I had two ideas in mind. The first one was to go out and do some street recording. The second part was to do a custom sampling session. You want it to be orchestral, but you don't want it to be John Williams. Um, you want it to have, you know, a little bit more of an urban quality to it. We were sort of driven by kind of an industrial feel, a lot of percussion. The way that we address that is by using a lot of instruments that are very rustic and urban, like trash cans and metal pipes and cardboard boxes, and just beating on all kinds of different things in different ways. And then at the same time, we've taken a lot of really conventional instruments and tried to play them and use them and frankly abuse them in really unconventional ways. Not to mention that our artist, Amon Tobin, manipulates sounds and carries them into a completely different space so that even the combat music has this effect of sounding like the city is kind of uh, throwing its head back and roaring. The thing that's really different about Infamous is the level of density we have in the city. It makes it a much more enjoyable environment to play in. We want the whole thing to be an immersive experience. You experience the city more than just hear it or feel it or play it. It's the combined efforts that really make Infamous something special in terms of the whole package. Yeah.